Hello, I'm Mary Rhodes, and this is just a flavour of what I've been up to here at the BBC over the last 12 months. Hello and welcome to Inside Out. This week we've come to Monkey Forest at Trentham to bring you three surprising stories from right across the West Midlands. On the programme tonight. Good evening. There's a big question tonight around some of the multi-million pound cuts made by the country's biggest local authority. But now a sinister disease has started killing our oak trees. Scientists don't know what's causing it or how to stop it spreading. And critics say some of them could have been doing so for almost 17 years. That's because they claim many of the original valuations were done out of the window of a moving car. We're joined now from Westminster by Roger Godsiff, Labour MP for Sparkbrook and Small Heath. Uh, thank you very much for joining us this evening. You've been quoted as saying West Midlands police treated people like idiots over the installation of these cameras. It's a bit strong, isn't it? I don't think so. The police made some appalling mistakes. TB is also commonplace in many African and South Asian countries and non-UK nationals are 20 times more likely to be infected than those born in this country. In fact, TB is carried by a third of the world's population and can be triggered by severe stress and changes in living environment. Hello and welcome to Midlands Today with Nick Owen and Mary Rhodes. The headlines tonight. So what's the current advice then to people abroad trying to get back and those trying to get away from here? Well, the advice has been the same all along, really. Contact your airline before leaving. I spoke to a number of people at the airport here today who seem to have been getting conflicting information depending on which website they got in touch with. Back in the 1970s, a boy called Clifford Joseph Price was one of thousands of children growing up in council care in the Midlands. Today, we know him as Goldie, but the time he spent growing up in children's homes is still having a profound effect on his life. So what will he make of the care being offered to children today? Well, we'd love your views on our stories tonight. Let us know your thoughts via our website, bbc.co.uk slash inside out. It's boom time for West Midlands football with four of our clubs in the Premier League. But for West Midlands police, it means more high profile matches and an increased threat of football violence. So how are they going to cope? Well, we've been given exclusive access to a new police unit that's determined to keep the soccer thugs apart. So this patient could be facing an 18-month stay in hospital just because they didn't take their medication. Yeah. That's astonishing. We've discovered that despite the cuts to their budgets, councils in the Midlands are currently sitting on tens of millions of pounds. These unspent funds are a byproduct of the planning process and they're supposed to be used to ensure the public benefits from private developments. But some claim that money isn't being spent on the people who really need it. Well, that's it for tonight and for this series. But we'll be back in the autumn with more surprising stories from where you live. <laughs>